All right, this is your brother Aisha Yar coming at you with another lesson. First off, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles of the great millstones I learn the truth from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing his word through the four corners of the earth with their truth and sincerity. And shalom to the aqua that's listening and learning. Today's video is going to be entitled That I May Be Glorified. All right, that I may be glorified. And this is coming from Isaiah 60 and 21 when it speaks about the righteous, when it speaks about the kingdom. All right, it speaks about when the kingdom is built up, the Lord is going to be glorified in the kingdom. He's going to be exalted. The whole earth is going to follow the commandments, statutes, and laws. All right, the whole earth is going to be under the vibration of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which is righteous power, man, order, instruction. Okay, and that's our main duty right now. It's to exalt the names of Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai. All right. We're supposed to be pushing the vibration of the kingdom, pushing the vibration of how the Lord wants things ran on this earth. Okay. Because once the kingdom of heaven is established, the whole earth is going to feel that vibration. And the Lord will be glorified. He will be glorified. All right. People are going to, going to acknowledge Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai every single day. Of course, the Israelites, speaking to you, Negroes, Latinos, the Native Americans, we're going to glorify the Most High and His Son, definitely. Because we're going to be in the new bodies. The law is going to be written in our inward parts. And we're going to represent Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai perfectly. We're going to finally be under the new covenant. That's when the new covenant kick in, all right? I see a lot of dudes out there still talking about we in a new covenant right now. No, we are not under the new covenant. We are under grace. We don't have the new bodies. All right. We do not have the new bodies. But anyway, right now, our whole duty is to go out into the highways and the byways, edify the elect, and tell the people whether they believe it or not, especially the heathen nations, that they're getting ready to be taken down. And the Lord is getting ready to take back what's his. Because Esau has this pride that he believes he's going to rule this earth forever. And that's written in the book of Psalms, I believe, chapter 49, if I'm not mistaken. When it says, and, that, and they think that their houses shall continue forever. That's not going to happen, all right? Esau believes that his technology and his so-called wisdom and money... And so-called power is going to outdo Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Because at the end of the day, they are preparing to fight against the Lord and the angels. And they really do believe that they can win. Because the Most High is, put, is putting the spirit upon them with these, with these delusions, man. The Most High is putting the spirit upon them with this pride to the point where they believe that they can overcome the power that put them in rulership in the first place. All right? But now, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has set up his men to go out there and tell them otherwise. Because part of Esau going down is prophecy. 2 Ezra 6 and 9. Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. And the thing is, the elites know this. All right? But they're still going to try to bring in their NWO anyway. Because at the end of the day, the Most High is hardening their hearts. And that's a good thing, man. Go ahead. You know, we want to have fun with this at the end. <laughs> yeah, I was shining the angels and 144,000. They're going to have fun with this at the end, man. Bringing down Esau. Putting him in chains. All right? And the rest of these heathen nations. All of y'all going to be in chains. And when y'all finally get at the bottom to where y'all supposed to be, that's when the Lord is going to be glorified. They're going to be in fear. They're going to realize that they were never special in the first place. They're going to realize and think about all the wickedness they have done. And But the thing is, the scriptures say that Esau is not even going to repent for everything that he have done. This is why the book of Obadiah says what it says. They're going to be exterminated off of the earth after a thousand years of slavery. They, they no longer need to be here, man. They have no use. Because if they be here, the only thing they're going to do is corrupt the earth. And that's not going to happen in the kingdom of heaven, man. 
even if the Lord did decide to let them loose like the other heathen nations and give them their own land, that still doesn't mean, uh, mean anything, man. They're not going to bring the Lord down at all. The kingdom of heaven is going to prosper and reign forever. But we already know Esau, with his pride and his wicked spirit, even after he served a thousand years of slavery, he'll still be that, that damn servant, the damn devil. He'll still try to find out, found out, uh, find out some type of way to bring the Lord down, even though we done whooped your ass for a thousand years <laughs> with, with brutal and harsh judgment. They'll still have the audacity to say something or try to do something, man. But the Lord hates the wicked. The Lord hates Esau, like it is written. Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So at the end of the day, the Lord is going to be glorified, man. When people see the Lord and they realize the way the earth is, and they realize the rulership that's in front of them, everybody's going to be thinking about Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, man. Point blank, period. There ain't going to be no ands, ifs, or buts about it. Everybody's going to recognize the Lord. And that's what we're supposed to be doing, man. Right now, we're supposed to be representing the Lord. Going out there with the 100% truth. Making sure that we're breaking down the scriptures correctly. Making sure that the elect is getting a proper understanding. Okay? Because if you don't get the 100% truth, you're not glorifying Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. You're not exalting the names correctly. Which means... You're putting the Lord on the even on a, on a low level, man. We're working for the King of the Universe, like the Apostle Tahar said, man. We're supposed to be doing the most for the Most High and His Son, man. All right. So when you get to the point where you bringing out scriptures because of pride and you bringing out your own breakdowns, you saying something else outside of prophecy that doesn't match with the scriptures. All right. You're not exalting, exalting the names of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, point blank, period. And guess what? You're going to have to pay for that. You are definitely going to have to pay for that, man. You you can't repent from adding into uh, Salakia. No, let me get my words straight. All right? You can't repent from taking the MOTB. All right? And that's one of the things that a lot of these camps go off on. All right? A lot of these camp leaders... They're getting ready to send a lot of their followers to the slaughter, man. Once they see that the uh, RFID C help is mandatory, okay, a lot of them are going to take it. A lot of them are going to take it, and then guess what? They're going to uh, have to burn in a lake of fire. And the thing is, a lot of people are going to see that what the apostles of GMS was saying was true all along, right? But the thing is, a lot of them are still going to fall into temptation. They're still going to fall into temptation because they don't, they're don't. going to be afraid of losing the things they have on this side. A lot of these Israelite camps made money off the Lord. <laughs> a lot of these Israelite camps, they made a name for themselves in vain. A lot of them just been going off for the longest, man. And you got to remember, the Lord is going to judge a lot of the uh, uh, people that believe that they're Israelites, like the scriptures say, the judgment begins at the house of Israel, the ones that know that they're Israelites, man. So now is definitely the time to get in order. Get in order. Pray to you, how about Shimmy, how shine fast that, so you can receive the Holy Spirit, Lord willing. Because if you don't receive the Holy Spirit in time, man, and you don't do what's necessary for the Lord, not for you, for the Lord, okay, you're going to fall into damnation. And then you're going to come back in the kingdom and you're going to be shamefaced, man. <coughs> so like it, you're going to be shamefaced. Your head is going to be down. You're going to be walking around the kingdom like, man, I messed up. And yeah, you did. You didn't exalt the names of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai correctly, man. All right. So at the end of the day, the kingdom of heaven is going to be about wisdom and it's going to be about Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai being glorified. The true beauty of the earth, the true, the true beauty of the ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the correct way of life, man. Okay? So always remember, we're doing this for the Lord. 
we go going out there and letting people know what the Lord is about. We going out there letting people know what the Lord is getting ready to do to this place and what he's getting ready to bring and set up. All right. So I hope this is edifying. So with that, I'm say call Halayim Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles of the great millstone, which I learned the truth from. Honor to the elders and brothers out there pushing his word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And shalom to the aqua that's listening and learning. And Yahweh Ratazah, I'll be back with another lesson. Keep pushing, Yasharala. Keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom.